What's up, Harrah Church? Um, Mike Ferris here. Chris asked me to make a video about abiding, and so here I am. Um, I thought, what better place to start than just kind of explaining what abiding is to me and and how I abide. So abiding to me is just more than just sitting and reading the Word of God. It's it's really sitting with the Word and chewing on the Word. There's a lot more to it than. And I think what people really think there is. Like, I think a lot of people think, you know, like, okay, if I read the Scripture and if I read the Word of God and if I memorize Scripture, then I'm abiding. And that's not the case whatsoever. Um, it's it's really sitting with the Word, right? And chewing on the Word and dissecting the Word and applying that Word to your life. Like, what is, like, when you're reading it, and it's not, it doesn't work like this with every Scripture or every verse, but, um... Like for me, when I'm reading the Word of God and something hits me all of a sudden, right? And you know that feeling like it hits you here in your heart and, and I'm like, why did that hit me? Why is, why, am this, why is this verse making me emotional? I seem to chew on that and I start to apply it to the aspects of my life and, and how does it apply to me? And what is the voice of the Lord telling me in this moment, right? And so, and again, I mean, abiding even goes further on beyond that, right? Like it goes into, you know, worshiping the Lord. Like when you worship the Lord, it, you know, like, are you are you worshiping wholeheartedly, or are you just doing it to do it? Do you think it's just another check mark you're supposed to make in your life as a Christian? And you know, then it even goes further beyond that, right? Like with praying. And so, when I pray to God, I used to just, you know, God, you know, just quick, quick little prayers like, you know, keep me safe, keep my family safe, um, let me have a good day tomorrow, forgive me of my sins. But the thing, it, it, it's deep, it's way deeper. Like, it's supposed to be you know, a one-on-one -on -one conversation with God and spending time with Him. And that's what abiding is. Abiding is, is, ask, is asking Jesus, who's already accepted, He's just waiting for you to accept, to come walk life out with you, to come be with you every second of the day and getting to know Christ in an intimate relationship. And it's not like knowing Him like, oh, I know who Jesus is. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. It's a lot deeper than that. I know several people who make that comment in their life. The thing is, you don't know him. I know who Ronda Rousey is. I watch UFC. I don't know her, you know? And so that's kind of like the thing with with abiding. It's getting to know Christ. It's walking your life out with Christ. It's inviting him into your life and pinning him first above all else. You know, is he the Lord and Savior of your life? That's what the questions you got to ask yourself. Yes, he's my Savior. He died on the cross for my sins, but is he the Lord of your life? You know, when you get feeling like you're stressed out, do you turn to Jesus? When you you get angry, do you pray for to God? It's giving those kind of things to him. When you think you're about to commit a sin, instead of committing the sin, do you just stop and reflect and start to pray to God? Do you give thanks to Him? Do you praise Him for all the things He's done in your life? I know with abiding, that's mainly what I do when I abide. Is I'll go, I'll sit in the bathtub, and one reason I do that is because it's one of the quietest places in my house and the one true place where I can kind of get alone and be by myself and be with the Lord. And I go and I sit in the tub and I open the Word. And I start to read it. And I find that word, I find that spot that hits me, right? And I start to dissect it, like, God, what are you telling me in this moment? And I'll just kind of reflect on that. I'll chew on it. I'll read it two or three times, and I'll read the commentary. And I'll reflect on it a little bit more. And sometimes I text it to the D group, you know, because it starts getting me on fire. I start getting pumped up. So I send it to the D group, you know, because I want to share it. I want to share what the Lord is sharing with me. And so then I'll start to pray, and I'll turn on, I'll grab my phone, and I'll put on some worship music. I usually kind of keep it low volume so it doesn't distract me too much. And I'll start to just pray worship him and give thanks to him and, and I mean everything under the sun you can say I say to him you know I talk to him like it's a one on one conversation I talk to him while I'm talking to you right now you know like as a friend and then I just you know I sit there and I meditate and I be quiet I'll listen to the music and I'll think about the scripture and I've had God reveal several things to me in that moment when I'm just sitting there reflecting when I'm meditating on the Lord and um I remember I had, this is a whole story, but um, I remember in discipleship, Chris one day wanted us, instead of all meeting together, he wanted us to go have an out 
And so I went ahead and out with my best friend, Chris Sims. And uh, we are just kind of talking and, and I was kind of explaining to, abiding to him and some of the tools we learned in discipleship and um, we're just walking through that stuff and we just started to talk and I remember after our conversation I got in the car and I started to drive home and I realized that before I started to abide I didn't know who Christ was I was I would sit there and tell you I knew him. That's you know from I went to church my whole entire life and I I had this I had I could tell you I knew Christ. I would sit there and it's like I don't know like I believe in Jesus I believe he's my Lord and Savior, you know and I just go on my way. But the truth was I didn't know who he was. I didn't know him. You know, I knew Christ like I knew the guy you passed by in the hallway. You know like hey what's going on man how you doing you know and and then I started to really reflect on that I really started to think on that. And I realized, like, I was a bad friend to Jesus, you know? Here he is. Anytime I need something, anytime I was in desperate need in my life, or I didn't know what I, or how, what I was going to do or how I was going to do it, I prayed to him, and he would answer my prayers. Jesus has saved me countless of times, and probably times I don't even know about, right? I mean, he's that friend that you call when you have a flat tire, or your car breaks down, and I was that friend when that friend would say, hey, let's go hang out, let's go do something, push him to the side, like, nah, man, I'm cool. I'll call you when I need something. And I was driving home and I just started to reflect on that. And man, it just tore me up inside. And I, I remember I, I text that to the guys, like, I know who he is now through abiding. I know who Christ is now. I, you know, he's my best friend. He's my number one. I put him above all every, everything in my life. I put him above all that and I text that to Chris and text that to the guys in D group and Chris replied back like Ferris it's time to get baptized brother so you guys know the rest of that story but that's what abiding is to me abiding is spending the time with the Lord like you would spend it with your wife or your family or your best friends and putting him first above all else and it's just spending time with him so you guys have a good one. Love you. Be safe. And uh, I'll see you Sunday.